shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. It was around 5.30 a.m. on Monday morning, 17 January 2022, when the darkest hour of the darkest night fell on us as children. Our adored and cherished father, who we saw as the strongest, was gasping for the next breath on his bed, on his sick bed. The sound of his struggling breathing gradually faded. We still do not have proper emotional and physical expressions to reflect that moment as children. Indeed, it was painful. With the passage of time, we, as your children, cannot forget you. The sound of his voice in our ears still echoes. His laughter in our minds, eyes cannot imagine, and the look he sometimes exhibits when we go wrong 
is so refreshing. A caring father, sensitive to our needs, helped in pursuing our desires, very tough with his counseling all the time, and shaped the formative stages of our life. As dull and difficult, as tough and difficult as he was sometimes, he was an affectionate father who still remained the beacon of light for us, guiding us through the difficult passages of life. Dada was a father of fine taste, great love for sports and music, a free-spirited person with a great sense of humor he was. Throughout his life, he stood firm for the worthy cause and didn't bow down for the pressures of life. This character is what made him very, very unique. Words cannot heal the pain of losing him. His good memories still hold deep in our hearts. As Helen Keller said, what we have once enjoyed, we can never lose. All that we love deeply becomes a part of us. Your time seemed all too brief which left us bewildered and in grief, Dada. We take comfort in your memories, for they will be part of us. Dada, I feel. Dada, we are in shroud. Dada, the house is so empty without you. By the way, Chelsea, your team is for sale, thanks to Putin. And I can imagine how upset you are at your weak team. Yes, I said it quite day. Come and beat me. Dada, I'm in show, so mommy. Dada, rest well. Ejapa, let me feed you. Let me feed you. Let me feed you. We, your children, we love you dearly. Dada. Valentina, Valentina, a year way, a year way, a year Yan Sofu Penini, Aya Yan Sofua, or that Harvest Baptist Church. I want a Romans fourteen, verse eight. Hmm. Today we are very sad as your grandchildren to buy to your welfare, even though we didn't look as strong as you as you as you used to. In our hearts, we always pray to God to grant you long life as you enjoy the fruit of your labor. But little did we know you will live soon. Oh, Papa, we will miss you so much. The emptiness you left in our life, it's so deep. You left without saying goodbye. For this reason, we console ourselves that because you lie in the bosom of the Lord. We shall see you again. Grandpa, you were a wonderful living experience to us, your grandchildren. You were a father, a mentor, a counselor, and a friend. We can never forget the memories we made. And as funny as it sounds, there were no sad ones with you except the times you were fighting for life. Papa, we know you are in a better place now. So watch over us, protect us, and guide us like a guardian angel would, just as you did when you were here. 